Hey guys, Landon is back with another video. So today I thought I'd talk about something a little bit different, um, calm systems for your PEV. They're not super popular in the PEV space. They came from motorcycles, um, but I'm just gonna tell you about what they are, um, how you can use them, and why you might want one. So if that interests you, stick around. So I guess we should talk about what a calm system is first. So it comprises of your detachable, rechargeable Bluetooth module. This is the brain of the unit. It clips on to your helmet like so. And then inside you have a microphone and then you have two headphones. As the word implies, a calm system is just a communication device. So it does three things. It can do rider to rider uh, intercom. It can do hands-free telephone calls, which is great if you own a business like myself. Number three is it is a Bluetooth music streaming device. Listening to music is dead easy once you have it paired to your phone. You just turn it on, play some music, right? And you can adjust the volume through the scroll wheel here. They're all a little bit different, but they generally have some controls on here that you can do, and they're pretty brute, so you can do them with gloves. Answering a call is also super easy. Basically, on my unit, you just press any button to answer the call and any button to end the call. Um, the audio is really good because you're in a closed helmet. Nobody has ever complained about the audio quality when I'm talking and riding on my phone. Now, the intercom functionality on these is sort of take it or leave it. If you think you're gonna use it, um, you need to buy a generally more expensive one. These are the Scala Pack Talks. Me and my dad bought these for when we were on our motorcycles and we almost never used them. Um, so if you don't think you're gonna use it either, you can go with the cheaper ones. Um, these more expensive ones have like their own proprietary wireless communication um, protocol for their intercom system. So that's what you're paying for. So if you don't want that, just buy the basic Bluetooth one. One more thing I think I should mention is that this intercom wireless communication protocol is brand specific. So if you plan on using the intercom function on this in your group rides, find out who has what brand and try to stick to that brand. Because as far as I know, uh, the intercom between two brands is only via Bluetooth, which isn't as good. Battery life on comm systems is good. Mine lasts all day. I usually charge it like, I don't know, once every four or five sessions. And uh, mine's just micro USB. Yours is newer, it might be something different, but uh, just charge it like where you charge your phone. Super handy. Helmet compatibility, uh, closed helmets are gonna be your best bet because you have a microphone up here. I haven't tested it on a mountain bike helmet yet. If you have, uh, let us know in the comments. So I'm gonna take this thing apart and then you guys can see how it all comes together. Basically, most of these helmets have um, clips for their foam. So if you can unclip this stuff, then you can hide all the wires and it's super clean. I know mine is. So there we go. The first thing to do is, this is gonna be for your headphones. Mine's just a little 3.5 jack. And then there's gonna be one for your microphone, which is right here. And uh, they just Velcro in. So this is the microphone module, just Velcros in, super easy. And then this is the main unit right here, as soon as I can pull it off. So there's the main unit and all it does is it just wedges into your helmet. Super easy. And then last but not least are your headphones. So mine is kind of strung around the back. I actually did spend a fair amount of time getting the wires nice, but I'm gonna rip it apart for you guys anyways. There's the headphone units. So pretty simple, right? It's just the three pieces. So yeah, just put it all back together. Took about 10 minutes. Super easy. I didn't want this to be a review. I just wanted to talk about comm systems in the PEV space. So if you wanna learn more brand specific stuff, there's so much on YouTube. So go check those out instead. But yeah, that's comms in a nutshell. I really like them in the PEV space more than motorcycles. Cause you can't really hear much in a motorcycle helmet anyways. It's so loud. 
PEV, it's quiet, you're going a bit slower, so you have really nice sound. You could wear earbuds. Uh, I don't like earbuds because they have something stuck in your ears. You have to take your helmet off to get them off. This is easier. Uh, then you also have the benefits of microphones so you can make phone calls and you have an easy volume dial without having to go into your phone. So I like them a lot. Anyways, let's keep this short and sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comm systems are cool. Buy one if you want or don't. But uh, try to do some more EUC content for you guys next. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.